Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demos Eras. In this demo, we'll show how to use Big IP Advanced Web, F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall, to create a security policy using manual policy building. This is Demo 7, of the AOF Demo Series, and it's intended for new, to intermediate level Big IP Advanced Web users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used for sending requests to build the security policy. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of the back end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the back-end web server. Through this process, Big IP Advanced Web can begin creating a web application security policy. We'll start by taking a look at the virtual server we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. Note that this virtual server contains the default HTTP profile. An HTTP profile is required to protect against application layer attacks. On the virtual server security, policies page. You can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 07, manual, security policy. Next. We'll examine the Big IP Advanced Web Traffic Learning page. This page displays the learning suggestions that have been generated by user requests, so that you can build the security policy based on real traffic. Currently, there are no learning suggestions. Now, we're going to simulate numerous requests to the web application using an iMacro in Firefox. We're submitting these requests, so that Big IP Advanced Web can begin to learn about the web application. Once the macro has completed, we'll reload the traffic learning page. There are now several learning suggestions. These are elements of the web application, such as file types, and parameters that Big IP Advanced Web identified based on the user requests from the iMacro. We can select a learning suggestion, such as the file type suggestion for no ext. This refers to URL requests without a file specified, such as www.f5.com. This isn't actually an illegal file type, but currently it's considered one, because we haven't yet added it as a legal file type. Although it's not required, typically we'll wait until a suggestion has a learning score of 100% before adding it to the security policy. In the middle of the page, we can view how many sample requests were used for this suggestion, and how many total requests were triggered. We can then select one of the URLs that triggered this suggestion, and then click this icon to open a new page with more details, including the geolocation the client's source IP address, and the full HTTP request. These details are designed to assist an administrator in determining if this suggestion is valid or malicious. We'll now generate more requests by running a second I macro. We'll then reload the traffic learning page again. The traffic learning page has several options for filtering learning suggestions. For example, we can select a file type suggestion. And then filter all suggestions from the same section. This enables us to quickly see all the file type suggestions for this web application.
We'll now generate more user traffic using a third eye macro to see how it affects the learning scores. We'll refresh the traffic learning page, which maintains the previous filter. Several of the learning suggestions now have learning scores of 100%. In manual policy building, all learning suggestions must be manually accepted to the security policy by an administrator. We can further filter this list to ensure we're seeing only valid file types. We'll use the open filter button and then select the advanced filter. We can narrow the filter based on the learning score. We are now seeing only file type suggestions with a learning score higher than 25%. Upon review, we've identified that this is the complete list of file types that should be added to the security policy. We'll use the Select All Items checkbox. Notice that each selected suggestion has an action. This identifies what will happen when we click the Accept button. We'll click the button and then add all these file types to the security policy. We'll now adjust the filter to show file type suggestions with a low learning score. We'll select a suspicious suggestion. Notice this suggestion has very few requests that triggered it. We have identified this and the other file type, as malicious file types, and therefore we don't want to add them to the security policy. We'll select them both, and then click Ignore. The Ignore button ensures that we'll never see these learning suggestions on the traffic learning page again. Next, we'll examine the list of likely legal parameters. These parameters all have high learning scores. So we'll accept them all into the security policy. Once we clear the filter, we can see there are only a few learning suggestions left. We'll add these two cookies to the security policy. When updating a security policy with big IP advanced WEF, you must always click apply policy to see the changes in the application. Let's examine the enforcement readiness summary table. You can see that there are now several file types, parameters, and cookies that are added, but not yet enforced. Enforcement is achieved during the staging process. Finally, we'll examine the beginning of the staging process. The staging process begins once we have elements, such as file types and parameters, added to the security policy. We'll use an iMacro to generate more user traffic. We'll reload the traffic learning page. There are now learning suggestions for parameter lengths and parameter meta characters. Notice in the enforcement readiness summary, there are now seven learning suggestions for parameters. We'll rerun the second I macro.
and then reload the traffic learning page. There are even more learning suggestions about the different parameters. We'll select this suggestion for the MTX message parameter. Notice the action states that if we accept this suggestion, Big IP Advanced WEF will increase the maximum length of this parameter to 500 characters. We'll accept the suggestion. We'll now view the parameters list page. These are all the parameters we accepted into the security policy. We'll select the MTX message parameter. Notice that the maximum length is now set to 500 characters. Thank you for watching this demonstration on creating a security policy using manual policy building with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.